my strategy moving forward for the piggy bank and the animal farm. Let's get into it. Welcome to DeFi Crypto Talk, where we talk everything DeFi and cryptocurrency space. So today we're going to be talking about uh, my strategy for the piggy bank and the animal farm. Uh, but before we begin, huge shout out to everybody watching the video. Please comment, like, subscribe at the very bottom. It helps get this information out to others and be greatly appreciated. So let's dive into it. So um, as far as the piggy bank is concerned, the first thing I've been doing is uh, just compounding my stakes. Um, I plan on adding another stake today. Um, and then as you can see here, so this is my largest stake and I just recompounded this stake uh, this morning. So and I plan to do that with these two as well. So um, as far as the piggy bank's concerned, I'm going to keep uh, just compounding these stakes. And like I said, adding another one and growing from there. Um, and they're all still going to be weekly. Uh, I think I might for one of them, I might do like a two week one um, and just sort of, you know, lock in a little bit of a bonus. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I uh, have my, uh, you know, money readily available just in case um, I need to uh, reallocate it to something else, um, which I'm thinking I'm going to start feeding uh, some money into the pig pen. Because I think once we get the lottery on board and once we get a lot of other things, there's going to be a lot of money flowing to the animal farm. So uh, that's something that we're looking, I'm looking forward to. So um, definitely, definitely, definitely just compounding for the piggy bank. Now, um, also, um, like I've said in previous videos, I'm going to actually be also taking money from the drip garden and starting taking profits uh, from there and then go ahead and put it back into the piggy bank uh, as well as, you know, add into the drip faucet. So um, and right now I've already compounded and I said that, uh, you know, I want to get to 25, 2600 plants and I'll take profit. Um, so if we check today, um, looks like we're up a little bit. Uh, which is good and i have 24 74 now after taking profits from the drip card and i noticed it you know it took about a week for me um just based off of my plant uh, my plant projection uh to get back to 2500 plants so i lost about five five six hundred plants uh once i took profit so um the contract definitely does punish you for uh taking profits but um you can always sort of bounce back and um you know, uh, make that same amount of plans eventually. Um, now, um, that's my plan. So 2,500 is sort of my, my, my cutoff zone. So each time I take profit, put it into the piggy bank faucet, compound for six days. And then that last day I'm going to do the same thing and, uh, take profit. So, uh, that's my plan from there. Um, as far as the, uh, garden's concerned, I am not going to put any more money into it because, um, you know, my plants are just growing, you know, exponentially by the day. Um, and then, you know, um, just, I want to start allocating more money into the piggy bank and then, uh, the pig pen. And then eventually once the animal farm comes back online, then that's when I'm going to start, uh, putting some money into the pools as well. So, um, so that's my plan for the drip garden, um, as well. So, um, as far as the faucet, uh, you know, it's concerned. So I'm still going to continue to compound here um, again using my drip, uh, my drip garden uh, profits, uh, some of them to put it into the faucet. Um, and I'm just going to continue to grow uh, that um, and grow that grow that account. Now, I do have um, another um, one here. So I did put some into elephant.money. Um, so I have a little bit of awards and what I've been doing with this is taking this out. I mean, it's not a big, not a big bag at all, but I've been taking this out and sort of putting it into, um, you know, the, the garden, um, not the garden, but, uh, I'm going to start putting it into the, uh, piggy bank. Um, cause originally I just had it in BUSD. So I'm going to keep putting in a piggy bank and see where we go from there. And then maybe some of them will go into the faucet as well. But, um, overall my goal for this whole strategy is just to have a really self-sustaining, um, you know, really, really just well, uh, thought out type of, uh, you know, strategy where it's just, just get sustainment for the long term. So, um, as far as taking profits out and taking it off the table, um, I'm going to do that once I grow my piggy bank stakes a little bit higher. Um, and then also too, um, you know, waiting for, uh, the garden, so the drip price to rise so we can, I can actually take some profits out there as well. Um, 
so that's one uh so that's that's sort of just my goal for that now um i did want to point out too uh so when it comes to the stakes so there's something in the telegram so uh, the ui was set to allow compounding in 24-hour increments which is pretty cool so um you know that's another uh thing that you can do so like i said i just recompounded this morning so i can't do that here but i have the options here and you know obviously um here and then you can also deposit as well which is pretty cool too so um a lot of a lot of ways to make money guys and like i said the piggy bank is printing uh fully bullish on the animal farm and i'm bullish on the garden and uh you know i think we're gonna start seeing things turn around here so uh anyway that's the video for today please comment like subscribe at the very bottom i appreciate your time and i will see you guys on the next one